In September of 2024, I was joined by four friends on a journey of a lifetime. We did a self-supported 350-mile ride from D.C. to Pittsburgh along the Chesapeake and Ohio Canal towpath and the Great Allegheny Passage. In this video, we'll cover day one of our journey, getting to D.C. and the first 16 miles of the Canal towpath. We took a six-hour train ride from Connecticut to D.C. Four of us rode in one train, and Steve took the next train due to Amtrak limitations on the number of bikes allowed in a single train. Each passenger car has a luggage rack that converts to a single bike rack. We had to remove the bags and front wheels from our bikes for them to fit. We're on train number 95, heading to D.C. The trip was smooth and uneventful, and we arrived in D.C. on time. I've been to Union Station countless times, but this was my first time pushing a bike. After leaving the station, we headed to REI's flagship store in D.C. to pick up fuel for our camping stoves. For safety, Amtrak prohibits the carrying of flammables on board their trains. We enjoyed a few of the D.C. sights as we worked our way to Mile Zero on the CNO Canal in Georgetown. a few detours in Georgetown due to trail construction and closures. They weren't well marked and we even had to descend a flight of stairs with our loaded bikes. This spillway, also known as a mule drink, was used to manage water flow and prevent damage due to flooding. Once we left Georgetown, we were finally able to cruise on a towpath. On our left is the Capitol Crescent Trail. This multi-use path extends for 11 miles from Silver Springs to Georgetown. It was built on the former Baltimore and Ohio Railroad's Georgetown branch, which operated between 1910 in 1985. Just before mile four, the Capitol Crescent Trail passes overhead on this large two-span bridge. Passing into Maryland, we reach Lock 5. President John Quincy Adams laid the cornerstone of this lock back in 1829. Traveling along the canal, we are treated to striking views of the Potomac River. There are 74 lift locks along the canal. The canal is like a staircase and each lock is a step. Locks 8 through 14 are known as the seven locks because they are close together over a 1.5 mile stretch. CNO Canal towpath from Georgetown to Great Falls several times before and I love the spectacular scenery here. I often imagine canal boats lined up and waiting for their turn pass through the Seven Locks section as they conclude their journey from Cumberland to Georgetown.
heavy flooding threatened the canal, guard walls and guard gates like this one were used to protect the canal. In the event of a break in the canal embankment or opening of sinkholes, planks would be lowered to limit the loss of water to that section. During the end of our first day, we came to Great Falls Overlook. Here cyclists can lock up their bikes and walk the three-tenths of a mile to the Great Falls. The overlook provides spectacular views of the Potomac River as it drops 60 feet over the falls. We had been keeping tabs on Steve who arrived in D.C. two hours after us. He was making good progress but we lost cell signal near Great Falls. Fortunately he saw our bikes at the Overlook Trailhead and found us here. As the sun set we retreated to this spectacular line of clouds. It was good to get off the bikes and walk a bit, however we pushed on as there was still more to see before nightfall. Great Falls Tavern functioned both as a lock house and as an inn for travelers. Today the tavern is one of several Chesapeake and Ohio Canal National Historical Park's visitor centers. It would have been nice to explore, but we arrived too late. It was 8.30 p.m. when we arrived at Swain's Lock Hiker Biker Campsite. It's the first one on the east end of the trail and we were fortunate that there were still open spots to camp. It would have been almost 10 miles more to ride to the next one. the video please subscribe so you don't miss the rest of our journey it's a great way to let me know you appreciate this content your subscription and comments make a huge difference for a small channel like mine thank you and i'll see you in the next one